transformative technology in these tiny tubes. We're only part way there, but um, we're, we're on the journey. Part of the way to understand why some men are infertile. Our whole lab is uh, really trying to move towards uh, understanding what is going on for these individuals that are not able to produce sperm. Can we identify the mechanisms and then overcome them with a technology such as this? Using this 3D bioprinter, they are creating versions of sperm producing tubes. In the testicle in the human body, uh, there are these tubules that contain 15 to 20 types of cells, and they all work together and communicate with each other to coordinate this process of going from a stem cell to full grown sperm. And then instead of having different colors for ink, we load it with different cell types or different compositions of cells in a fluid. The cells not only survived, but matured. And now they're trying to get the printed cells to produce sperm. So we're really excited about this. 15% of couples struggle with fertility and in those couples, half of the time it's due to the man. Individuals where we can't find sperm, treatment options stop there and they have no ability to have a biological uh, child of their own. So that's the space that we're really working in here. Trying to test if they can preserve the cells. Hopefully, you know, in years to come, we'll be able to put the pieces slowly together systematically to arrive at something that we could translate to clinical space and, and that would be uh, most exciting to us. Safety measures and experiments would need to take place before it could be used outside the lab, but it's a first step. Alana Kelly, Glacier Media, Vancouver.